Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look here at the last 48 hours on our sun to start things off. Two very large sunspot regions fighting for supremacy here along the equator. One north of the equator and one south. The one in the northern region has released two M-class solar flares in the past 48 hours. One documented yesterday, another one today. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming plasma tornado on the left-hand side has ceased. But then look at all this activity coming from two very large sunspot regions. Having a look here, outgoing large plasma filament stretching across on the right-hand side. You can see it lifting there from the surface. Last few images, solar prominence present. Now we're going to have another close look here at these sunspots. As I said, they're fighting for supremacy here along the equator. Highly complex sunspot region in the southern hemisphere. Having a look at multi-spectrum, large elongated uh, coronal hole, and as well plasma filament. Very large one in the southern hemisphere. Let's hope that stabilizes. But we're going to be keeping an eye on that over the next couple days for sure. I've got another look here at our sun from another image. Just amazing energy coming from those sunspots. And as I was talking about the last couple of days, we were expecting a pretty big region to come into view. And it looks like we've got two of them. So heads up, everybody. We do have incoming solar flares. And as well, two now Earth-facing sunspot regions. Look at that one in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow. That is a big one. Having a look here at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, M-class solar flare just recently. Earth-facing position. We're still expecting a space weather event by the 8th. Heightened telemetry here, almost in C-class range. Geomagnetic activity has calmed down a little bit, sitting at KP3. Solar winds have slowed down a little bit too, sitting at 529 right now, still above average. A little flip-flop of the phi angle there, blue and red. Showing here the aurora forecast for the next 24 hours. As there will be visible aurora for northern Ontario, Manitoba, and as well around into Europe. Having a look here at Lasco 2, showing the last seven days of energy coming from our sun. That's including that one large plasma filament that popped out on the 28th and the, into the 29th. Same day that Mauna Loa erupted. So many things are connected to the sun. Actually, everything is. There's a reason why most of the world prayed to the sun god, Ra. Having a look here at Iswa Space Prediction Spiral, showing a CME that was projected yesterday in an outgoing fashion, just missing Mercury. But then we have another one here with the most recent solar flare, not in an Earth-facing position, but look at all that energy whipping around from that sunspot region. Probably expecting that into 13th, into the 15th of December. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Yesterday was a power of 7 as well. So some good energies floating around here. Quality of 9. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet... Brought to you by Walton and USGS. Got quite a bit of activity still here in the Tonga region. And as well, Vanuatu 
deepest earthquake today, 526 kilometer depth, 4.4. It's about Kermadec Islands still seeing activity. The minor earthquake swarms at Topo Lake or Lake Topo have ceased. Then with largest earthquake today, a 5.7 Banjar, Indonesia. That was on land. A lot of people reported feeling that. That comes a few weeks after a large one hit there. 4.5 there, eastern Indonesia, as well as 4.9 here, Philippines. Activity in North Japan, 161 kilometer depth, and then a 4.4 there in between Japan and Kamchatka. Western Xinjiang, China, 4.6, as well as Siberia reporting a 4.3. 4.5 here, Afghanistan, 93 kilometer depth as well a 4.4 just north of that. Another minor earthquake, 4.2, Iran. And there's that Bosnia earthquake from yesterday. Recent earthquake today, South Sandwich Islands, 4.9. South America seeing a lot of activity today. Most notable here, 4.8 in Palca, Peru, 161 kilometer depth. As well, Colombia seeing a 5.0. At a 38 kilometer depth, lots of activity through the Cocos Plate right now and up into the Caribbean. Heads up. Overlooking the United States. Still seeing a minor swarm in western Texas and Mexico border. As well, increasing activity here at Kilauea Volcano. Largest being a 3.1. Let's have a look at USGS here showing... Notable earthquakes across the United States, Eton, Missouri, as well Madison, Missouri. Overlooking United States, no major swarms to talk about. And then overlooking Hawaii, we'll show you here the most recent activity up in the caldera of Kilauea and around the outer rim. Also give you a quick thermal image here of the lava lake in Kilauea right now. Things seem to be softening up across this view right now. Keep an eye on Kilauea. Also wanted to show you here ESMC data for earthquakes, minor activity through Iceland. And as well, Canary Islands. Increasing activity through South America, Central America, and quiet at Lake Topo. Nothing to report today. So about two days of action there, and then all of a sudden, quiet. Got to wonder what's going on there. A lot of earthquakes just north there through the Kermitic Trench. Going to leave you here looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. As right now, we're sitting at an average about 250 across the USGS map. We have not seen a large earthquake all week. Expecting something big. Really big. So heads up, stay aware and prepared, and be ready, and much love. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. If you made it to this bar in the video, I thank you all so much. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. See you next video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.